Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and thank you so much for tuning into today's video. Today I am going to be doing a first impression review tutorial swatches on the new Melt Cosmetics She's in Party Stack. It is what is all over my eyes today. So it comes in a really beautiful damask print box and it says she's in parties. This is a four color eyeshadow stack by Melt Cosmetics. This brand is cruelty free and mostly vegan, I believe. I would double check on this stack. And it is magnetic, as you can see, as all Melt stacks are. This stack comes with the lid, which is a mirror, and it retails for $48. There are two matte shades, and then there are two shimmering shades as well. This is a really gorgeous holiday release that Melt have done. The stack goes for sale on Black Friday, so don't forget to get your hands on it. It is absolutely stunning, and I love all of the pigmentation of the Melt eyeshadows. They're probably my favorite formula, if not one of my favorite formulas. So buttery, so pigmented, and they blend like a dream. I now will insert some swatches for you guys so you can see the pigmentation and what they look like on my skin tone. This is the color Skeleton Kiss. This is the color Last Caress. This is She's in Parties. And this is Mean Streak. So if you guys would like to see how I completed this eye look right here, then keep on watching. So I just got this stack in the mail just today, and this is the new She's in Parties stack from Melt Cosmetics. There are so many gorgeous colors in this stack. I think I'm going to just use all of them and do kind of like a halo smoky eye. So first things first, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance all over the top and bottom lid. I'm then going to just set the lids with a little bit of Kat Von D translucent powder. This is the loose one, just all over the eye to mattify the lid. And I always end up doing this step just so all of the matte shadows blend really well and I don't have to worry about shadow picking up in one part of the primer that's still really sticky. So I'm going to pick up the shadow in Last Caress, which is a mid-tone mauve purple, and this is a matte shade. And I'm going to be picking this up on a larger, fluffy Morphe brush. I'm just going to start building this up in the outer corner of the eye and gently pulling it through the crease. I'm also taking it in the inner corner to create depth there, but leaving the center of the lid free of product. And I'm just going to slowly build up this color. And loosening my pressure, I'm just going to diffuse that shadow outward towards the arch of the brow in that rounded kind of a shape. Now that I've built up that smoke, I'm going to take a smaller, more dense Morphe brush and pick up a little bit more of Last Caress and basically focus that on the outer and inner corners of the eyes and pushing it into the lid. And then if you want to, you can take your blending brush and just run over that one more time just to make sure that's nice and smooth. Now with the eyeshadow in Mean Streak, I'm going to pick up that same dense small Morphe brush again and press the brush into that, tapping off the excess because this is a darker shadow. And I'm just going to be pressing that into the inner and outer corner. And I am buffing a little bit after I stamp it in just to make sure I'm getting that intense darkness. And this shade is super pigmented and gorgeous. It's like a burnt dark eggplant. It's beautiful. And then once you've applied the color, you can then take that other Morphe blending brush and buff that in. The key to a really beautiful halo eye is patience and blending. That's how you get it right every time. I just wiped off the small short Morphe brush and I'm going to be dipping into a combination of Last Caress and Mean Streak and I'm going to be running that color under the lower lash line and basically mirroring what we did on top, so just the inner and outermost corners. And if it gets a little too heavy in the inner corner, you can basically just tap it out with your finger. You can, of course, also not take it as low, but I like a nice, deep set, smoky eye. Now I'm picking up the shade She's in Parties, and then I'm using the Morphe Shorter Blending Brush, and I'm just going to pack this on to the lower lash line, really press that color in and blend into the edges. And if at any point you see that there's some fallout, you can just go in with 
that brush that we used to set the primer earlier and flick it away. And now for the finishing touch to the top of the eye, I'm going to be using the shade Skeleton Kiss, and I'm going to be picking that up on my finger. Just gorgeous, gorgeous pearly pink color, and I'm just going to press this into the center of the lid. And that adds just like a gorgeous bright pearlescence to the middle of the lid and really pulls together the halo. And I could of course use a brush for this step, but I find that the warmth and oils to my finger really help pack on the shadow and get it that nice intense pigmentation. And now I'm just going to pick up a Sonia Kashuk pencil brush and dip into Skeleton Kiss one more time. And I'm just going to run this on the inner corner of the eye just to bring some light back into that area. And with that initial big fluffy Morphe brush, I'm just going to go over my edges one last time and make sure that Skeleton Kiss blends perfectly into Last Caress and Mean Streak. For the waterline, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay 24-7 liner in Alkaline, and this is a gorgeous plummy color. Off camera, I'm going to apply mascara to top and bottom lashes, and I'm going to be applying the House of Lashes pair in Boudoir Light. And I love these because they make my eyes look nice and round and wide awake. And this is the finished eye look with lashes. I think it came out really beautifully and I'm super, super impressed with the quality of the melt shadows as per usual. So that is the completed look and my full review is basically it's an awesome shadow stack. I think these colors are super beautiful for holiday. I think they're gorgeous colors for virtually any eye color. I think they would be absolutely stunning on brown or hazel eyes, but I think green could pull it off as well. Purple is just one of those really flattering shades for a lot of different eye colors. So I see this being universally really gorgeous and perfect on a lot of different skin tones as well. So if you have been wanting to check it out, I recommend definitely picking up this stack. And don't forget, it's I believe it's going to be discounted on Black Friday, so make sure to keep up with Melt so you can get it for some money off. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe, please and thank you. And don't forget to check out my social media links down below. And I will speak to you in the next one. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye!